more than 1 in 10 babies are now born by a planned or elective caesarean section. This video is about a research study that we would love you to consider taking part in if you are having a planned caesarean section. Planned caesarean section has some benefits for mothers and babies. It also has some risks which we try our best to reduce. For example, to protect mothers from infection, antibiotics are given during the caesarean operation. But how do we protect the newborn baby? The main risk for babies born by planned caesarean section is a small but increased risk of breathing problems for a short time after birth. If this happens, babies may need to be cared for in a neonatal unit. So far, we don't know how to safely reduce this risk. We know that giving corticosteroid injections to mums just before an early birth less than 35 weeks of pregnancy is good for babies and reduces their breathing problems. In the C-steroid trial, we want to see if the same is true for babies born by planned caesarean section after 35 weeks. We estimate that giving corticosteroid injections to mums before a planned caesarean section will halve the risk of short-term breathing problems for babies after birth. This will reduce the chance babies will need extra care in a neonatal unit. Here's where you come in. Are you having a planned caesarean section at 35 weeks and 0 days to 39 weeks and 6 days? Are you pregnant with one baby or twins? And is it at least 24 hours before your planned caesarean section? If so, why not think about taking part in the C-steroid trial? In the week before your caesarean section, you will have two injections, 24 hours apart, into your arm or thigh. A computer will randomly put you into one of two groups for these injections. You will receive either corticosteroid injections or placebo injections. The placebo injections contain salt water only and should have no effect. Using a placebo allows us to understand the true effect of corticosteroids. You can't choose which group you will be in and neither you, your midwife or doctor will know which type of injections you will receive until the trial has completely finished. Low blood sugar levels, called hypoglycemia, are relatively common in newborn babies. We know hypoglycemia affects 10 to 20% of all babies and 50% of babies who are at risk. Babies may be at risk because they are premature, small or large for their age. It is possible that corticosteroid injections may increase the chance of babies having low blood sugar levels after birth, and so a second purpose of the C-steroid trial is to test this. All babies in the trial will have three or four blood sugar tests in the first 12 hours of life. This test involves a small prick on baby's heel to collect a few drops of blood. This test is done routinely for babies at risk of hypoglycemia, but is not offered for all babies. If your baby has a low blood sugar, they will be treated in the usual way. By testing all babies in our trial, we'll know what the normal rate of low blood sugar levels is and whether corticosteroids increase this risk. The C-steroid trial will include approximately 2,500 women and their babies. We hope that you will be one of them.